now then, you catch me in mid fettle. I was having a gentle rub down of the old girl. Getting those little hard to reach places. Just to give it a little wipe over. And then, uh, it's going alright. Apart from this morning. When I went to start the old girl up. And she went, ruh, ruh, ruh. Oh no. Now, for the past couple of weeks, I've been having a bit of bother with my battery. I knew my battery would run its way out. Um, as my mate Big Colin said, it has had one hell of a ride. Um, I don't know how old that battery is. But, it must be at least... Uh, I reckon 10 years old, if not older. I, don't, I really don't know. I'd say 10 years old. Um, I shall find out of aid. And it had had a hell of a lot. Um, and the only reason why it failed was that one of the banks where the sulfuric acid sits in was empty. So, I had to... Uh, Swallow forty four pounds from uh, Halfords uh, to get a another battery, a new battery which is currently on charge, uh, and we'll sit here overnight until my Halfords car charger tells me otherwise. So um, yeah, it was quite an easy little kit. See, I don't know if anybody's ever, you, you know, if you've ever bought a new battery. For a mountain bike, um, you get a little pot. I can show you because I've got some left. Comes in this little white thing, and that's your basically your sulfuric acid or whatever it is they use mix. Now it says on here, oh, it contains sulfuric acid. <coughs> so. Pardon me. It says on here that it should cover the battery and you'll get none left. You take it all up to the max. Maybe little, don't use the little thing that's about that big to fill up. I just took the battery um, drip line and put it on and then did it from a safe distance. They give you this little piddly thing. I think I even threw it in disgust. Um, yeah, I bloody did. To fill the battery up, but it's no good. It's no good. It's not. It's not as good as having it over here, running down a little thing into the top. And you've got to do that all the way along. Um, and then you know you can, you can watch it fizzing, going a bit nuts, because um, obviously the lead is reacting quite quickly as well. Um, but yeah, forty-four quid. It's a Bosch one. Should be all right. But it was exactly the right battery that I wanted. YB14 12V A1, I think it is, or an A2. It, it, either one of them. Um, and I went down to Halfords and I thought, oh, I was thinking all the way down there, well, if they don't have your battery, just get one that's, you know, that's nearest. Uh, but no, lo and behold, it was there. So I was quite, quite happy, lad. Uh, and, uh, yeah, and... But while I've got the little side, little side panel thing off there, I thought I'd give it a little shine about, a little bit of a bit of a spoiling, just to wipe the dirt and dust off of the wiring. It's a beautiful evening, I'll be honest with you. First um, of August, two thousand thirteen, and the evening is absolutely lovely. Might sit down actually. Yeah. Oh, when you watch me smack me up. Right. So yeah, it's just a case of me getting in there and having a check of the wiring, making sure we're looking all good. It's quite a handy thing to do. Give it a wipe. See, I'm giving it a wipe over. I've got one of these kitchen wipes. And grind a little, grab a little handful of wire getting in between there and just going the crud off it 
That shouldn't be too bad for me, because to be honest with you, I do fairly fettle the girl. But you do get bits of crud in there, you know. And bits of crud is no good. So, guess what? I've got it off. Well, there we go. Been a really hot day again. I need to turn this around here a little bit. Don't I? There we go. That's better. It's been another hot day again. Uh, really hot. When I finished work, got in the car. I couldn't touch the steering wheel. It was bloody hot that was. Couldn't believe it. Really roasting up. So. Yeah, not going to be many more of these left, you know, after these nice evenings of this year at least. Yeah. That's a shiny chunk of alloy right there. Eh? Look at that. It's the old girl. The heart of the old girl. Yeah. So, battery, 44 quid. It's a bit of a joke, really. 44 quid, really? It's a lump of plastic with a bit of... It's never lead anymore, is it? It's, it's going to be like lead-covered or something like that. That's why they don't last more than two years now, batteries. Once they start biting through to what the lead... Uh, it's plated too. Problem. When I told the fellow at Halfords how old my, I thought my battery was, there was no battery date on it, but I'm telling you, it's 2003 time, if not older. Um, he couldn't believe it. He said, no, they only last two years these days. That's bloody true as well. Still, we carry on. I'll do to be honest. Can't be asked. I really need a cup of tea. So, thanks for watching. If you uh, if you like the video, if you don't like the video, don't leave a dislike. I mean, it's never really that bad, is it? All the best. All right. Cheers. Thanks for watching.